Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by a strong and a weak acid giving examples. You should then be able to describe the effect on pH of the strength of an acid. And finally you should be able to describe what's meant by a dilute and a concentrated acid. Let's start by looking at strong acids. In a previous video, we said that all acids produce hydrogen ions H plus in aqueous solutions. Remember that an aqueous solution means dissolved in water. I'm showing you that here for hydrochloric acid. As you can see, the hydrochloric acid molecule is splitting and it's releasing the hydrogen ion H plus. Now scientists use a special word for when an acid molecule splits like this. We say that the acid molecule has ionized. So we can say that in aqueous solutions, acid molecules ionize, in other words they split, and release the hydrogen ion H+. Hydrochloric acid is an example of a strong acid, and you need to know what that means. Strong acids fully ionize in aqueous solutions. In other words, every acid molecule ionizes like this. We can tell that from this arrow. The arrow goes in one direction only telling us that the acid has fully ionized. There are three examples of strong acids that you need to learn. These are hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, and nitric acid, and I'm showing you them here. These are all strong acids because they all fully ionize an aqueous solution. So let's take a look now at weak acids. I'm showing you here the weak acid carbonic acid. We can tell this is a weak acid from this arrow. This is a reversible arrow. This means that some of the acid molecules ionize, but not all of them. Scientists say that weak acids partially ionize. In other words, only a fraction of the acid molecules ionize. There are three weak acids that you need to learn. These are carbonic acid, ethanoic acid, and citric acid. Now we've already seen that the pH scale tells us the acidity or alkalinity of a solution. So how can we use this with strong and weak acids? We're going to look at that now. The pH scale gives us an idea of the concentration of hydrogen ions produced by an acid. Strong acids have a lower pH than weak acids for a given concentration of the acid. That's because strong acids fully ionize, producing a greater concentration of hydrogen ions than weak acids, which only partially ionize. Now this brings us to a really important point about the pH scale. As the pH scale decreases by one unit, the concentration of hydrogen ions increases by 10 times. If we compare pH 1 with pH 2, we can see that pH 1 has a 10 times greater concentration of hydrogen ions than pH 2. Scientists call a 10 times difference one order of magnitude. If we compare pH 1 with pH 3, we can see that pH 1 has a 100 times greater concentration of hydrogen ions than pH 3. A 100 times difference is called two orders of magnitude. So as we've seen, the strength of an acid affects its pH. The pH can also be affected by the concentration of the acid. So we're going to look at that now. The concentration of an acid tells us the amount of acid molecules in a given volume. So a dilute acid will have fewer acid molecules in a given volume than a concentrated acid, even if the strength of the acid is the same. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the strength of acids and pH in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by a strong and a weak acid giving examples. You should then be able to describe the effect on pH of the strength of an acid, and finally, you should be able to describe what's meant by a dilute and a concentrated acid.